the moment we're looking after the cruise vessels that are calling in, in Bahrain, as well as many other vessels, we're multi-purpose terminals, so we have uh, many cargo ships, navy ships and the cruise vessels. The first thing we did, uh, obviously we've not had cruise vessels here for two years because of COVID and uh, clearly we needed a boost to, uh, to get the cruise season going again. We joined Bahrain Tourism in uh, Malaga for a uh, promotional event, um, met many of the cruise lines and their agents, uh, basically just promoting Bahrain as part of their Gulf uh, tours. Um, and that really is the, the essence of this, is to get visitors wanting to come to Bahrain. And as I mentioned, we're, we're handling cargo. So I think we're quite a good barometer for the, for the Bahraini economy. And definitely the economy needs this tourism uh, injection. And so we're just looking for more and more opportunities to bring cruise lines here. I think the, the, the main thing is that uh, we, we need to get the message out globally. I mean, as a non-Bahraini, looking in from the outside before I came here, um, we have uh, a, a major need, I think, in the European, North America markets to promote Bahrain as a tourism destination. It's, uh, it needs that uh, promotion for passengers to want to, to come here. If the passengers want to come here, then the cruise lines will want to come here. So. Uh, Hopefully we get uh, back to the levels we were before COVID where we had many, many vessels coming. Uh, we've still got quite a lot more to come this season and next year we will definitely have more. We are very fortunate, first of all, to have the uh, the ship, the world, which is uh, behind us, uh, parked at 0, 0900 hours Bahrain time, because this is one of the very unique ship, which doesn't call uh, any ports. They are very particular, so we have been very, very fortunate to receive them, and uh, the preparation behind it is is very intense because you have to liaise with a lot of authorities in Bahrain in order to, to uh, get the clearance. And right after the um, COVID-19 uh, situation, things has got very relaxed. But even though there are a lot of requirements, which my team has worked for about uh, three to four days, well in advance before the ship comes in. So um, we are very fortunate, regardless of how much work, uh, working hours we have put in, uh, but we are very happy to have the, the vessels, which is the World and Ida Cosma, which is the second ship which is behind us as well. So, and we are very proud agent that uh, we are the agents from Bahrain and we are promoting Bahrain so very much. And the preparation is really next to nothing. It is the requirements which we go through it. Well, we are very fortunate uh, to have uh, very good support, the royal support and the support from the Ministry of Tourism and of course with the APMT terminal which they have supported us to make this visit very very uh, easy and which promotes uh, Bahrain very well. We are definitely competing uh, with UAE and uh, we are 
we will excel in providing the better services, even though we are operating through the APMT terminal, which is very, very good terminal to operate from. Uh, but we, we are always looking forward to have the uh, cruise terminals, inshallah, which is, uh, is still in the uh, construction phase. So, Bismillah, everything um, is uh, looking very good for, for Bahrain for the next uh, two to three years' time. Here at Khalifa bin Salman port, operated by APM Terminals Bahrain, which is a capable to handle multi-purpose vessels, different entities in Bahrain have been working very closely to ensure that tourists experience an amazing time during their visit to Bahrain, wishing that 2023 will be an excellent year for tourism.